Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Raft. Um, as you can see here, I am uh, just passing by a, uh, a large island there. You can kind of just see it sort of rendered in there. Um, I, uh, I'm just pulling away. Um, you can probably see better where our, our green dot right there. That's probably a better way to show you guys. Um, just pulling away from that island after spending, my goodness, probably four, five in-game days there, um, uh, trying to get as much loot as possible. Um, I've been, uh, been trying to follow through with what I said last time of, uh, spending, spending a good amount of time doing, uh, doing some, doing some sailing, um, going around, getting some more goodies for us to continue our raft upgrade process. Um, one thing you might notice right away, um, we have more, we have more upgraded scarecrows. Uh, the, uh, experiment, if you guys stuck around to the very, 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 very end of the last video, <laughs> um, I had been making a note of like, oh yeah, we should see if, um, if the scarecrow being placed here lets the uh, seagulls attack the potatoes, and literally as the video was ending, uh, we had a seagull start attacking the potatoes right over here. Um, and it turned out, I think that they were able to attack all of these eight potatoes with the, uh, the advanced scarecrows in their previous position. Um, so while we were at that island, um, I was able to go get a couple more scarecrows, uh, placing them as you see here. And, uh, now it does seem like all of our plants are protected. So it does kind of block this little tree. Um, our mango trees are, are, are blocked by our spooky scarecrows, but that is alright because all of our plants are protected. So whether we continue growing potatoes like I've got going right now, or we swap that out for a different crop, um put flowers there, whatever it may be, uh, we, we should be basically all good to go. Um, yeah, we, uh, we're doing pretty well now. So the other thing that I was able to, um, purchase, okay, it's just a small island there. Okay, good. We're, we're moving, moving pretty well past the large island. Wanted to make sure we weren't gonna crash into anything. Um, I've been trying to keep up with cycling through uh, smelting quite a bit, knowing that we are wanting to continue upgrading a bunch of machines. And you should notice we have a bunch more titanium. Um, yes, a decent little tiny bit of that was from uh, my, uh, my expert metal detecting skills. Um, but, uh, I was also able to purchase a good chunk of that at the trading post as well. Um, so, the good news is we'll be able to get a few more things built today. Um, or crafted, I guess I should say, uh, with that titanium. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we're also just getting, like, a decent amount of other metals from my dives. Uh, so I guess I should also go cycle some more things in there, and you know what? I think it looks like we really could use more, uh, copper more than metal at the moment. So let's get copper going in here. Um, and again, yeah, I, I have been still using all of our old smelters, uh, in addition to our fancy high-tech smelter. Um... But I would like to get those swapped out here sooner rather than later because um, refilling these with wood has been uh, a little bit annoying, whereas swapping the battery out has been just a super quick process. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is, uh, I, I think that may actually be our higher priority than getting more advanced biofuel refiners in, even though I had originally thought that the biofuel refiners, uh, were gonna be the higher priority instead. Um, so yeah, we may, we may actually start out trying to do that real quick. Um, but one thing I wanted to wait and do with you guys, oh, let me get this, uh, silver algae put away properly. 
Uh, there we go. There was quite a bit at that last island, which was nice. Um, yeah, one thing I wanted to do with you guys was finally actually build our canteen. Um, uh, that way we can basically use this empty bottle for a new rebreather. Um, and uh, that will be nice because we keep having to use just a ton of vine goo. Um, which isn't a problem. I've got a lot of seaweed now, but it's more just the hassle of making sure that we like loop that into our like smelting rotation. Um, and yeah, it would be nice to, if we can then just have like the canteens on us for drinking because it is going to be more water. Um, and then maybe today we can set up a room to uh, have a purifier and water tank that we can use to refill our canteen rather than having our little solar uh, water purifiers as well. So anyway, we need eight plastic, four leather, and four metal. That is a expensive canteen, um, but it should be a lot nicer for us. So let's get that going here and craft that. So I am curious uh, how much water that this is going to take. Uh, okay, so it's going to be two bottles worth, it looks like. Um, so let's go ahead and fill that up. And we can uh, do the same over here. I wonder if we should try to stop at one of these islands real quick. Um, I don't know. Let's let's not worry about it for right now. Let's. I'd I'd rather. I've been doing so much stopping at islands uh, to get resources. I think we're just gonna try to keep powering on and get uh, get some rafting done, some raft work going here. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and still carry a bottle and a canteen for now until we do get. Um, a different water system set up um, and then that way we can use our bottle to refill the uh, the solar purifiers and then um, we'll have the canteen to actually drink from so we'll basically just start working on getting this emptied out and that will be all good so um, I guess the last thing before we get started is uh, the raft is in need of some repairs because I would stopped off at that island so long that the, uh, the shark got quite a few snacks in the form of our little protective barrier here. So we can empty our catch nets, which is a good thing, and then use those materials to start making some repairs. You know, the never-ending cycle here on our raft, which one day will end. I, I, I know that uh, that is possible. We can get some raft armor here eventually. But um, we, uh, we still have needed our scrap for other projects at the moment. But one of these days, we will... Um, we will make it our project to just have a marathon session of acquiring scrap. Um, nope, that was the wrong piece to put there. Um, we're just gonna leave it there. He'll destroy it and we'll fix it at that point. Um, yeah, we'll have a marathon session of trying to acquire some scrap and uh, we can armor up the edges of our raft at that point in time. So, alright, I think we've got most of the stuff that's in our nets now. Um, let's put this stuff away and then figure out what project that we want to get started with now. I do really like not having our anchor in the middle of the deck here. Uh, we'll probably figure out something else to do with our sail. Um, Honestly, we don't even really use the sail anymore because of the uh, the new biofuel refiner system that we've got. Um, it's kind of been unnecessary. Um, I've just been leaving those on for the most part, and uh, that has been working quite well. 
So, um, we may just be able to put the sail away and not really have to worry about it. Um, oh, I did end up, uh, turning a bunch of our existing stored palm leaves into trash cubes in order to be able to, um, afford some of the expenditures at, um, uh, at the trading post. Um, same with, uh, some of our rocks. Basically a bunch of the materials that we don't really use that much. Um, so if you notice some empty chests, uh, as I'm going through inventory, uh, basically, that's what happened. Um, uh, you know what? I think that's empty enough. We're just gonna pick that up. Uh, yeah, so that's one other thing I did. I went ahead and got rid of, um, got rid of these biofuel refiners, and that way we can decide, um, you know, at whatever point, what we want to do with this space. Um, tentatively, I'm thinking that we're basically just gonna wrap more, uh, fuel tanks around that corner. Um, ooh, and this fuel tank is actually getting empty. We have a bunch of biofuel that we can throw in there, so that is good. Um, and, okay, this one just needs honey that we don't have made at the moment. One thing that I need to put on my kind of, like, chore rotation a lot more often is picking up the honeycomb, because our bees produce it pretty quickly. I've just been doing a poor job at actually, um, grabbing it, and, uh, let's see, we've got a little more right here, if I grab four more, I think, we should be able to make, I think, three sets of honey jars, I think that's down here, yep. So, that should be good. Let's go throw this that stuff in the kitchen, and let's maybe even cook some of it up. You know, we gotta get, gotta get all of our chores out of the way here first, so that we can get to the exciting stuff. Alright, and basically it does take six honey to, like, fill that up totally, so kind of works out. Alright, so at the end of last time we said kind of our, our next two big projects um, are going to be trying to figure out paint and then maybe trying to build some of the keep. Whoa, we almost hit an island here. I did not realize that. Uh, that actually might be another big island. I think that's a screecher flying around out there. It might be hard for you guys to see depending on what device you're looking at because that's pretty, uh, or watching on because that's pretty tiny, but um, yeah, man, we almost rammed right into a big island. Anyway, um, so yeah, we might, uh, I think that we might try to figure out a room to put paint, um, the paint wheels in here in a minute. Uh, we've at least got two paint mills made. Um, but, uh, let's see. Oh, let's, let's at least get, I think, one more fancy smelter built real quick. Um, as you can see, I, uh, did add more, uh, bricks to dry out here. So I've got that going for us. Um, we're gonna need, I think, two copper for a circuit board. Uh, we need the six metal and six titanium. Uh, the, oh gosh, I never remember the circuit board recipe. I think it's like one vine goo and a bunch of plastic. Nope, I failed. Um, circuit board. Nope, that is what you, oh, you can't quit craft if it's not in your actual inventory. That's right. So I was correct. Um, okay, that makes me feel better. I'm like, man, I've really been trying to start remembering that recipe. Uh, all right, so, smelter. We've got everything. Craft. Let's go see about, ooh, uh, oh, 
I already fell off. I was gonna say maybe we should bring a bunch of uh, ingots to smelt as well. Um, especially because we are... I'm just gonna bring a whole bunch of copper. Because we are getting down to not very much. Um, well, I don't really want to remove any of those until the copper is finished smelting, because otherwise that would be a waste of that raw copper. So let's go throw... Uh, some planks in there, and then maybe we can sleep for the night. Let those finish up. And I'll just put two planks in and make sure that should be able to finish. I don't want to overdo it because, again, that would be wasting planks, although we do have a lot of them right now. Um, but yeah, let's go for that. We'll sleep here and then go rearrange that in the morning all right finally it got to night time and we were able to sleep um uh, looks like we are once again passing by a little island here we are just uh zooming by a bunch of them today um okay so good the copper was able to finish smelting um and let's go ahead. I'm just gonna pick up all of these things. I know that is kind of wasteful with the planks that we're losing, but that is okay. As I said, we are we're pretty we're pretty set on on planks. So let's see. If I try to center this between these two walls and then I just pull this forward until it is acceptable and then I do the same thing here and maybe make that our fancy corner can I still get to that battery. Yeah, I can still get to that battery pretty easily. That's what I wanted to make sure of. So we can go ahead and put all those in. I need to go grab another battery. Um, I know I've got one somewhere. Oh, I actually I know I've got one in here. I think I've been keeping a spare in this room. And we'll just use that for that smelter. Very good. And, uh, and eventually, ideally, I would love to be able to have four in here in order to make the doorway work. That may not be able to happen. Really, man. Really. Um... It may not be able to happen, at least with them evenly spaced, maybe we'll work out a little system to kind of slide them all a little bit around. As long as I can still get to the battery, um, then we'll be good. Because it's like, I, I could shove this one kind of more into that corner, but accessing the battery might get a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, uh, getting a couple more on these two walls I think will be really good but again for now there is no harm in just throwing these right back in here uh, did I only have five? Oh no you can only hold five at a time uh, and then we'll just uh, I don't think I'll keep this here permanently uh, but until we fill this room with, um, with the fancy smelters, I'll go ahead and keep these in place. Um, there we go. Just like that, and we've already got these ready to go. Oh, I love the, the animation stuff with how those work. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's a little little tight getting in and out, but um, our our smelting capabilities have now doubled uh, with the addition of the two electric smelters. So that is pretty cool. Um, all right, so uh, paint mill time. 
I would really like to get that figured out today um, so that we can get to actually painting. Um, so these obviously have to be on the bottom floor. Um, and uh, that way they can, uh, you know, access the water. Um, let's let's make a quick run at least across the front of the raft here and pick up supplies because it looks like we are filling up the nets. Um, I'll go drop the majority of those materials off real quick and then we'll figure out what room we want to put. Uh, want to put those in. Uh, there we go. That's almost everything. Eleven scraps, actually, pretty darn good for, uh, need to put these down here. Uh, eleven scraps pretty good for just grabbing things out of barrels. Um, that is not bad at all. Okay. So let's see, what rooms do we have open? We've got the anchor, we've got the recyclers, we've got the garden, which could move. I think this room is open, yes, on this side. So we could figure out putting our paint mills in here. Um, so I've struggled to figure out a way to do this nicely where we could put like a ton of paint mills in um the best i c i've really figured out is at least with leaving walkways is about six i think from whenever i was trying to mess with this in like a creative mode kind of a sense but I'm almost wondering if we just kind of sacrifice the other half of this tower and just have four of them lined up across here. And we just don't access that edge of this room because do we really need it? I don't really think so. Um, so... Let's see, if I do that, I'm actually going to want... I'm going to want some building supplies before I start breaking holes in the raft. Uh, so let's actually grab a bunch of that wood that we just put away. I'm going to want some nails, and let's grab a bit of this scrap for some more nails. And just in case I make some mistakes in the flooring, let's grab some plastic so that we can add more flotation platforms uh, to fill any, any gaps. Oh, I think, oh, no, I, d I didn't mean to pick you up. Sorry there. Uh, okay, so. We need basically a hole all the way across here that is going to be used for these uh, paint mills. Now, I know right now we only have two, but we're going to work our way up to four. Um, so what is a bummer is that I cannot put a railing just over them. Can I put a rope railing? No, that still does not work. Okay. Um, so what we could do, though, to still kind of have a railing is do effectively a mirror of what we have on the roof. Uh, except I'm gonna... Actually, I think that would be fine. Oh, we need to go ahead and make those nails. I grabbed the... Grab the scrap, just didn't turn it into nails. So if we do that, we can't fall off that way. Um, and I think that would be smart. Now the question is, do we like the look of that or do we want... Uh, sort of like doing a post between every... Uh, 
uh, every paint mill. I think maybe that would look better. Alright, well, we wasted a bit of materials, but that's okay. Some more nails. That's why I grabbed a bunch of scrap. And I think that we're going to do this on the other side here, too. Um, Alright, so, and I mean, really right now, if I wanted to keep the floor in while we only have two paint mills, uh, we could do that. And just do something like do these across as well. Um. Oh, I need water, not food. There we go. I know we're gonna use these nails eventually. There's no harm in making a bunch. Um. I think we'll do this for now, uh, cause like, I, th I think it'll be okay to not make tons of paint mills right away. We'll see, oh gosh, I think we're about to run short. Uh, no, nope, we're good. We're just gonna miss it. Just another close call, okay. Wait, is there a missing potato? No, all right, I'm just losing my mind. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll work for now, uh, and we can expand this a little more later on. I guess if I only really wanted to, the smarter thing would have been to push these up against this wall. And then I could always have another row of them, like, right ear and then you try to just like walk between them uh, I can't remember if I tried something like that or not I know that you can't have a wheel in like a triangular space which is a bit disappointing um, But this way we can still like come and use the windows if we feel like it. Uh, I I don't mind this. I think this will work for now. Okay. So with that in mind, oh, this island we might actually hit. Yeah, this one we're gonna hit. But it's also a large island, so it's potentially worth stopping at. Yeah, we might we might just intentionally stop here. And I might still just have us keep doing some raft work for a bit, and I might uh, do the looting on this one. But, um... Yeah, I think it's gonna be worth just having us pull on up to this... Pull on up to this island anyway. Here, let's let's pull off to the side though. Is that enough to miss it? Yeah. And we can pull in just a bit. that rock no just barely not okay let's pull up to the shore right here that'll be about perfect since this is where we come in and out of the raft Should be good. Let's drop the anchor and turn off the engines. Yep. 
That works for me. We can actually hear the trading post music from here. So as long as the screecher does not start dropping things on our head, uh, I do not mind just being stopped here for now at all. I do see another screecher flying around right up there. Um, okay. Take another little sip of water here. I think that gets us to about way. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so... Do we start with painting or do we want to start on the main structure here? Um... I think I kind of want to start doing a bit of painting. So I want to show you guys my thoughts on what we might do with painting. And, uh, see what you think. Um, so let's, let's do that. Let me, let me put this nonsense away here. And we'll, we'll get to that. Picking up more drumsticks and put the rest of that away. Okay. So we've got a paintbrush already. And we've got a good amount of paint. I can just throw that all in our inventory. Uh, and then flowers. All right. So let's run back. Run back over here. Oh, because we're not moving, these actually are not going to do anything. So that's the one downside of us being stopped here. But we can at least put these in the, uh, in the little paint tumblers. Um, I'd, okay, I'm like, wait, why did that have, uh, wooden nails showing up there? That was kind of strange. And the shark is practically floating. What is going on? All right, so we're gonna start on the outside of the raft. And all right, so we're building a castle, right? We don't want our castle made out of wood. We want our castle made out of stone. So what I'm thinking is that we paint our outer walls dark gray. And I don't know if we'll do the inside dark gray or not. So I'm only going to do... Ooh, but we, we... It does cost... It would cost a little bit more to do, do like two single sides than do each side individually if we do end up wanting to do dark gray on the inside. Well, at least for our lower floor, I might paint the inside dark gray as well. Because for most of these lower floors, they're kind of like utility floors anyway on the base level. Um... And so, having it just be dark gray inside wouldn't be the worst. So I think we're going to go for it. So, we're just going to... Make our castle walls start to look like castle walls. And I'm going to try to do this a little bit slowly and deliberately at first, because I don't want to just, like, waste paint. Knowing that we do have a finite amount right now. And this will go fairly quickly. It's like, it looks like we have a ton, but... It, uh, it definitely can run out fast. Alright, so even just doing that, and I know it's going to look a little weird while we have wood on top of it, but I think that's going to be nice. 
Like, obviously the wood look is, is still like a nice clean look. But I think to get our castle look, that's gonna be good. Now, like, we could go for light gray. I don't, I'm not gonna, like, paint. This is what, but it, it looks too white to me. And I mean, like, so, that's what white is. So, it's not white. That's the light gray. But I think dark gray is just gonna be better. So, let's get the inside lower floor on this main side. Um, let's see. I'll wait on the staircase for now. And I might even wait on those doors for now. We'll decide on that here in a minute, too. Oh, yeah, because we are... Oh, we're going to be one shy of completing that. That's unfortunate. Um, that is a bummer. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to have to get sailing again, then, to get some more paint. Um, Alright, so I think, then, what we're going to do... Is, you know, you guys have seen me loot an island before. You don't, you don't need to to have us spend a, a whole swath of time in this episode watching me go through and swim around, do a dive, run around, chop trees, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna go loot this island real quick so that we can get all the goodies. And then we can get back underway so that we can make more paint. Because we gotta be sailing to get those little tumblers tumbling. Um, because yeah, otherwise, uh, that's not gonna do a darn thing. Um, but yeah, I think that that will be our plan. Um, but yeah, so you can start to see why, like, especially, like, I really wanted to get some greenery in here. Because, like, this will definitely darken the raft. Um... But, I think it'll be good. I think it's definitely going to help really, like, sell the, um, the castle idea. So, so yeah, I'll go, I'll go loot this island, and then we will get back underway so that we can actually get to more painting. All right, everybody, I, uh, I have now spent, gosh, it's gotta be an in-game week or more here at this island, and we are finally casting off. Uh, it has been a very successful venture. I was, oh, I need to flip the switch. There we go. Uh, ah! Um, we, uh, we got a lot of resources here. Um, this was a, a very plentiful island, um, but it is time to get back underway. Hopefully we can, uh, get around this thing pretty easily, and, uh, ooh, a little bit, a little bit too close there. There we go, that's not looking too bad. Uh, but yeah, we'll just try to steer right around this island, and, uh, get back underway. And I think that we will today just kind of, I, I think that we will actually start angling toward our, uh, our final destination here. Um, if we end up passing it up and end up doing, uh, our, our kind of sort of final lap around the earth, uh, you know, or another lap, not our final lap, uh, another lap around the earth and circling back around to it. We've already done that, you know, probably three or so times, um, since leaving Temperance, I think, uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, that just gives us more time to get some building in, uh, or more, uh, more accurately, what we're going to be doing here shortly, some decorating in. Uh, so I just want to make sure we clear the edge of this island. I'll get us course corrected. And then, uh, you guys know the routine. 
we've got to do a little bit of repair work because even though I, uh, I slew, I think, six sharks while we were here, um, the, the edge of the raft is still in rough shape. Um, as you can see a little bit right here, this actually isn't too bad at all. Uh, but if we start coming around this side, you'll see what I mean. Uh, this left side of the raft here. Oh my gosh. For the first time ever, they actually managed to take out a collection net. I, uh, I was, I was a little bit curious if, if that was even going to be possible. Oh man, I'm really messing this side up. We're just gonna, we're just gonna fix all this. I know I'm wasting some supplies here. They've taken out the the sharks have taken out two collection nets, um, and uh, I mean I've I've seen the sharks kind of go for them a little bit before, but knowing how we we had kind of figured out there was like a preference um, a little bit even for angled pieces um, over the straight pieces, I was almost wondering if the sharks would go for almost the entire edge of the raft. No, you don't, sir. I just claimed that. Uh, before we actually lost any collection nets, but that is not the case. Um, so that is very interesting to learn. Um, now we could put in, since we did lose those collection nets, we could actually go ahead and upgrade those spots uh, and go all the way up to advanced collection nets. Um, that would be an option, but I think for now we're just going to stick with our standard old collection nets. Um, I don't think I have any spares. I do not. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get those couple made here. Uh, let's see, I need enough for two. There we go. Oops. Um, Alright. Let's go fill those in, and then we will get back to painting. Alright, there's one spot. I think the other was further back there. And I think that should be all of the holes in the raft now. And I know that there is more stuff that I could be picking up, uh, but that's all right. We want to uh, we want to go ahead and start putting some of this inventory away so we can get back to painting. Um, I was starting to actually get a little bit low on rope, so it's time to uh, get making these palm leaves back into rope as we have them. Um, but yeah, we're actually doing pretty well on scrap now. After stopping by a couple of these islands, as you can see there, that is some great news. Um, yeah. So. Let's see, I can recycle our leaf and we'll go throw these potatoes in the biofuel reactor and let's see I guess it is getting dark so maybe we are going to want to sleep before really getting into the paint um, but let's see how our paint milling is going maybe and we could grab some more flowers to bring over there just in case it is done. I think that we put the paint mill back here. No, we did not. I don't remember where it is. Uh, I don't remember where it is at all. Wait. Oh, no, no, we put it on this side. Somewhere. I'm doing a whole lap of the raft. Oh, we just didn't label it. That's the problem. There we go. All right. Well, we've got 
a bunch of paint ready. Let's get those milled up and we can go sleep. All right, so we have once again some paint. We got a, a decent amount going there. Let's see how fast that mills. Oh, that's actually pretty quick. All right, well, we can carry uh, some more of those flowers with us then. Um, so that we can just keep on getting some of this raft painted. Um, that is good news. So I think two things. Let's grab a bunch of these flowers. And let's grab a bunch of seeds. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant a bunch of these. Uh, and again, for now, I'm mostly worried about black and white because we're trying to get kind of our gray walls in place and uh then we will we'll deal with other colors at another time um but we uh we'll we'll start with with this i think that will be good all right and then we'll need one of these it's gonna look a little silly, but we'll leave one little section of potatoes there, and then we'll have a bunch of white flowers over here. Excellent. All right, and then uh, we're gonna put 40 of these potatoes in our biofuel reactor, and we're gonna keep the other 40 available for replanting. And I do need to be careful that I don't over uh, fill. Oh, and that's actually all that I can do. So I'm just gonna put these extra potatoes right in here for now. Um, and uh, we'll deal with getting more honey uh, for that. Um, for that at another time. Okay, so. Paint, that is our next step. So we need to get our paintbrush back out and our plan for now, we were doing double-sided paint. We got all the way around to right there and we ran out and that's why we had to stop and make more. Very good, okay. So it looks like we also didn't quite do Oh gosh, I thought I just painted that by accident. We were leaving that blank for the moment. Uh, some of this we didn't quite get all even like that wall we didn't paint, whereas over here we did. Um, and then I think we will go ahead and paint the uh, these two walls just to, that'll finish off the inside of the, uh, kind of these tower rooms. And we had thought about because these are doors, maybe making them a different color. And there's, there's some stuff you can do with like, le like adding a secondary color. Um, I wish that it worked a little bit differently on these doors so that like, let's say I wanted to have a red door. Um, oh, I don't have red paint, so it's not going to show me what's going on there. Let's say I wanted a white door. Um, I wish that, like, it could make everything except the door part white. Um, and then, or, like, make, make the, the trim and everything gray. And then have, like, the door be white, but it has to be a pattern and it doesn't like divide it between the two colors like that. Um, but some things it does divide between two colors like these stairs here. I wish that the doors were an item like that. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And we are running aground. Um, let's take care of that problem real quick. If I can remember how to climb a ladder. We will just, oh my gosh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a special island. We found the plane. So a couple episodes ago, we found 
We found a shipwreck. And and now we just oh gosh. We just randomly crashed into the other rare place. This okay, this helmet's barely gonna look any different, but but there we go! Oh, I've still got my oxygen bottle on. We've got the uh the pilot's helmet now. That is cool. I was not expecting that today. Well, hey, that's uh that's pretty nice to be able to get both of the rare islands basically uh checked off of our to-do list on this playthrough. Um let's go ahead and grab that uh, crate before we forget about it um, and drink some water and stuff because we are getting very dehydrated um, well dang um, yeah sorry as you can tell this is uh, really caught me off guard that's really cool uh, so I don't think that there's really much of anything else at this one. I think it's mostly just the uh, the pilot's helmet that we were looking for here. Um, but that's really cool. Uh, for now, I think I want to have us get back to painting. Um, I'm just trying to do a quick little look around the island, make sure I'm not missing anything too terribly obvious. Um, but yeah, I will, I will harvest all of this stuff after we kind of wrap up today. Um, but I think I want us to get back to painting because I, I keep like starting and then not getting super far, so, um, that's super cool though. Uh, but anyway, yeah, what I was saying, I wish that we could have these doors basically have the door be a color and the frame be a color so that you could have like the, it look like the, the door is a certain thing, um, and have it blend with the walls. It, it, that makes more sense uh, as a comment over here, um, where you have some of the wall on either side of the door. Um, cause like right here, if we let these doors wood, it, it's not a big deal other than like that little piece of trim on top of the door. Um, but yeah, I think that we may end up, even though stone doors don't necessarily make the most sense, uh, just making these gray. Um, and I think we're gonna, if we can, maybe I can't, oh, oh. Oh, I missed it. I was trying to hit the, there we go, the pillar. Wait, it didn't, it didn't take. I want to get the, our support beam painted. And somehow I instead painted the lantern which, honestly, I don't mind. And there we go. Now I got that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, now that all kind of blends in. And we'll still deal with the staircase at another point. Because we may want to make the, the railings and the stairs themselves a different color. Um, that I have not decided on. Um, oh gosh, backing up into the sail. So, what are we looking like up front? So, I think that we're probably gonna want all of this to be the stone look as well. Like, I, th I think all of this is gonna be stone. The one part that may not is like this middle support section. Um, 
And I think we can keep kind of going and make all of these walls our gray fake stone walls. And... I will... I think I'm gonna cut it off there. Oh gosh, we're falling in the water. Um... Yeah, we'll leave the our little archway untouched for now. That way we go in here. All of those walls are our kind of sort of stone. And let's do the same here in the kitchen. Like that. All right. Um... Oh, we actually can do the chests eventually. That might be really nice for color coding things. Um, that'll be kind of cool. Um, and let's see. That, at the very least, is going to be the stone color. And then the, the very top. We may make kind of again like that might be a wood platform or not. I haven't decided yet, but we only have so much paint to work with. So it doesn't matter if we hold off for now. Um, okay, Ooh, you know what we could do for the stairs? I think maybe we leave the stair wood and we just paint the sides of the stairs. Be backing up into the sail. I think that's what we do for the stairs right now. Um, yeah, I think that would be good. And that way we're still having like wooden flooring. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep so that we can make it through the night and see a bit better. All right, so... Some of our paint color up top here is also gonna be determined by if we keep these towers going higher or not. Um, and I think at the very least on the ends here, maybe we put a roof or something like, uh, we'll either do a roof or we'll do some kind of, um, almost battlements like we do over the navigation deck. Um, and so let's wait and figure that part of the paint out until we have more of a plan there. Um, as far as these archways go, I think maybe we do still, on these sides, just stick with making that our so-called stone. Now underneath here is going to be a little bit goofy because it's definitely stone right there. Um, but we don't want to do stone for like the flooring uh, because that's where that's where you're walking and we want to stick with like uh, wooden walkways for now. Um, so is that okay? Um... There may be a solution where we could make these three gray and then the rest of that uh, wood, but I think we're going to try leaving it like that for now. 
and then we would carry this on. Now we are running a bit low on paint right now and we are stopped because I do want to get the rest of this island. Um, oh good, the rest of this actually did finish before we arrived. So I've got a bit more to work with than it appeared. So let's see, we could get the uh, other archway going here. Oh, and we got to take care of our survival needs. There we go. I'll say this is a lot easier than painting in real life. Nice just being able to point and click and the whole wall is painted. Although the uh, the the lack of even cover it coating is uh, you know would bother me. Um, but that is something I've been having to do a little bit of lately. Um, I uh, I think that, so, I, I've mentioned this a couple times before, I've actually been recording ahead, um, with a decent number of episodes, um, uh, lately, and, um, uh, just because I, uh, I'm in the process of moving at the moment, um, and, uh, I think if I've been kind of Calculating all of these out right. I think that this should be one of the last if not the last episodes that I'm recording at my old duplex and uh, Before I am moving out and uh, in the new in the new house and so uh, Yeah, I've been been doing a lot of this painting and stuff to get uh, Get the new place move in ready and, um, but yeah, I, uh, there'll still be a good amount of work to get done, but I do, I uh, once, once I have everything in pretty good shape, I am excited to be able to, uh, at some point share the new office setup with you guys. Um, I will definitely be, be doing, uh, some sort of a little office tour video for you guys once. Uh, once I get everything all worked out, um, I'm still still trying to figure out some of the logistics and everything, but I am excited for what the new setup is going to be um, once uh, once I can get everything transitioned over. Um, but yeah, it has been uh, has been kind of funny with some of the various things we've been doing in, in a couple of these games have been uh, applicable to. Uh, to some some real life stuff for me as far as like hmm, got to figure out how to decorate these places got to start painting walls and all of that kind of stuff it's like oh man that's uh that's been my real life experience lately here too um all right well that is the end of our paint supply here at the moment and uh you know speaking of real life here i can't just run down to the hardware store and pick up some more um, we're gonna have to get the raft sailing again in order for me to, uh, grind up these flowers into some more paint. Um, what I do think I will do is at least harvest these flowers, make sure that we keep a good supply of them on hand. Um, oh good, good, good. I did not see... The, uh, the seeds in my inventory there for a second. And, uh, okay, good. That still has battery. Uh, but we will get these planted all up. Make sure that we have a good source of flowers. Why did that one not get watered? Is this battery dead? It is! Okay, I feel better about that. 
I was like, oh no, I, I know that we got all of these uh, set up so that they were within range. All right, let's put this new battery in. And water everything? Yeah, okay, good. Those flowers actually got watered this time. Very good, very good. Cool, cool. Well, um, I think we're going to be close to wrapping up there then. Um, I, uh, I think hopefully before our next episode here, I'll be able to grab some of the last few goodies off of our plane crash island. Um, and, uh, basically keep grinding some flowers into paint so that we can keep this, uh, this project going. And, uh, then I think that, uh, as far as projects go, I know that we had, we had talked about trying to get more of the keep going. Um, I think really we'll be kind of setting sail, uh, toward Utopia. Um, so... My best guess, I could change my mind on this, is that honestly, I might try to set things up so that I I get the island looted, I get us back sailing, get some paint made, I might try to, again, keep grinding some paint up and use it to keep painting some of the rest of these walls, and uh, I might kick things off next time with us, hopefully, kind of pulling up on utopia because I bet we are getting pretty close oh we're getting super close so I think even though we still have a lot of work that we are gonna do long term on this raft we may as well knock out this last location because if we're gonna just be getting some more additional tech and things to deck out our raft anyway uh, I mean why not be able to go ahead and get that now and make sure that we're optimizing our raft uh, for the long haul. Um, so, you know, I know that means that like, we'll be continuing to play mostly just with the goal of uh, raft upgrades, not necessarily with any story motivation. Um, but, you know, otherwise we're just kind of prolonging the, or, or delaying finishing the story for, uh, the sake of delaying the story anyway, so I think that that is probably going to be our plan. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that that will do it for today. Um, hopefully you guys are liking the, uh, the plan here to paint the walls. I know that it's definitely going to be like, it, it's, it's very dark and definitely like in the main section um of the wall here it can look a little bit boring and it looks a little bit strange with having paintings on the walls we're gonna move those eventually i literally was just running out of storage um on where to put uh where to store paintings um i do need to uh add or either add some additional stuff to our storage uh room uh add an additional uh like room for storage or for certain kinds of storage or something um, to help out with that, um, or, uh, or maybe we will just, like, literally have a, a little art gallery room, uh, where we can put our paintings, <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, that's why those are kind of on those walls. They'll, they'll move eventually, because that's not their final spot, but, uh, yeah, I think if we, we can put some more plants and stuff out so that, you know, the greenery will help the raft, um, we may change what the decking is, at least on parts of the main raft, so that it's not just brown wood against gray walls. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe we go crazy at some point and try to cover our raft with as much grass as possible. I know our animals would appreciate that because they still cannot figure out the pathing over to this grass, um like, at all. You can see, like, they are all, like, stacked up in this one spot. We had four animals at least. Yeah, four four of them all stacked up right in this little corner on the potatoes because they couldn't figure out to walk around the tree and eat over there. So uh, we'll uh, we'll figure out a way to help help uh, the animals pathing logic out 
and um, whether that's adding more grass elsewhere or kind of penning them in a little bit better. But I think those will be some long term projects, but I think next time it would be it would be fun to try to head on to Utopia. Um, I again, much like with Temperance, I've seen absolutely nothing about it. And so it'll be uh, fun to explore that final story location totally blind with you all. So anyway, if you guys are excited for that um, and did en also enjoy uh, our um, our more uh, further raft renovations today and starting finally, I know I've talked about it for so long, painting the raft. Um, in today's episode, be sure to leave a like. Um, it definitely helps me out, helps more people to discover the series. Um, also, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you'll be notified when we do finally uh, have that Utopia exploration episode drop. Um, otherwise, I hope that you guys do have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon with some more Raft. See ya!